please don't judge me for a mistake that I made only for you to go home where you're living in sin. channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution let's get to 500 million billion quadrillion more than you can count subscribers seriously if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed first of all let me tell you you're rude you are really rude and I don't know why you're behaving this way but it's fine because I'm gonna give you a, a minute just a quick minute not even a minute a second please eh? subscribe also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time that I post so for any of you guys who do not know I am a Christian woman and let me start this video off by confessing with my tongue as I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and he died on the cross of Calvary for the remission of all sin that I may not die but I shall have everlasting life and be reunited with my father God in heaven that being said today's video is about annoying things people say to Christians. Without wasting time, let's get right into it because I need to vent. Holy vent, I guess. The first thing that people do that really annoys me is people do not ever want to let you thank God as a Christian. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but like there have been some tweets where somebody will say, oh, I got the job. I really want to thank God. Or, you know, I, I got an A for my exam. I really want to thank God. And then somebody, some one person, some enemy of progress, guys, will come in the comments and say, oh yeah, my friend, please, uh, don't thank God thank yourself God didn't write the exam for you or God didn't go to the interview for you when you keep quiet listen babes how is me thanking God getting in the way of your life and disturbing you did you want me to thank you instead oh yeah please all glory belongs to God and if I want to give God glory I will give him glory if I want to thank God I'll thank God listen I am allowed to thank whomever whatever I want to thank I'm allowed to believe in what I want to believe in without you feeling the need to come and disturb me what is your problem look at you I know why I'm thanking God. I know what I've been through. I know what it took for me to get what I get. I know why I believe it was God's divine intervention. You don't know. So don't you dare come and tell me that I cannot thank my God whom I've chosen to serve with my free will that he has given me. Thank you very much. The next thing that people do that is really annoying is undermining spiritual practices that I choose to do. So for instance, there are some people who will tell you that you're foolish for fasting or who insist on telling me that the only reason why I'm fasting is for diet purposes and to lose weight let me tell you guys I have never fasted ever I've never fasted because of a diet I've only ever fasted for spiritual purposes you want to tell me my reasoning for doing something that I want to do are you normal Another thing is people telling me that prayer doesn't work or God is not going to help you. Go out and do it for yourself. Listen, it's true. God helps those who help themselves, okay? God blesses the works of your hands. Meaning if you don't work, then there's nothing to bless. No way does the Bible say that you know what, you should just sit down and pray and everything's going to happen to you. There's a verse that says that those who are lazy will not eat. There's no way where God promotes laziness or not working or you just lay down and pray and I'll do everything. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? But I'm asking for God to bless me. I know why I'm praying. Like again, if me praying and me fasting is not getting in the way of your life, then why do you feel the need to tell me why or why not I should be doing something or that it's not going to work? I move by faith and not by sight. What is faith? Faith is the evidence of the things unseen. And if you don't have faith, it's your business. Eh? It is your business. Nothing to do with me. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. The next one is one of the most, the most, the most, the most annoying things ever. And this comes from both non-Christians and from Christians as well. But this is the expectation that people have for Christians to be perfect. Guys, Jesus came 
and died for us because we were imperfect let's look at the bible the woman who was caught in the act of adultery you see everyone else was like stone her she did this she did that jesus came and said let he without sin cast the first stone everybody left nobody cast a stone and jesus said go home and sin no more so please if God is not expecting me to be perfect, why are you expecting me to be perfect? Let me tell you something. God's grace is sufficient for me because he knew that I'm not perfect. Let me start off by talking about the Christian side. I hate this thing that Christians have of expecting others to be perfect. So please don't judge me for a mistake that I made only for you to go home where you're living in sin. And again, I myself am not here to judge. The point I'm trying to make is judge not, lest ye be judged. And indeed, God is the true judge, not you. So that was from the Christian side. But from the non-Christian side, guys, you need to understand that I am a Christian. What does that mean? That means I'm someone who has and is developing a relationship with God. That means I'm trying to live my life according to God's will and for his glory. That doesn't mean I'm perfect. That doesn't mean I don't make mistakes. That doesn't mean I don't fall short. This expectation people have for Christians to be perfect is so ridiculous because we are humans. Churches are filled with humans. Surprise, surprise, pastors, bishops, reverends, will fall short because they're not perfect and they're not God and God is the only one Jesus is the only one without sin and this actually leads me to my next point guys religious leaders are not God are not perfect and not every religious leader is of God the Bible talks about false prophets and how you'll know them by their fruit some of you guys hey, your prophet is out there skipping countries and violating bail <laughs> You running why are you running but anyway that's not my business the point i'm trying to make is these people are humans and there will be people in this life who misuse religion for their own evil gain and we see this in every single religion there's not a single religion that i know that is based on being evil a lot of the religions are based on peace and being a better person if there is a religion you know that is literally the sole purpose of it is to be evil then comment down below i think like satanism is is that even a religion if it is well yeah that's the one but apart from that let's look at islam we have seen terrorist organizations misuse the quran in order to do their evil they justify the evil they do based on the quran and why is that? Because they manipulated it. Because they're using something that they know many people follow and believe in for their own evil gain. Does that mean all Muslims are terrorists? No. Are Muslims evil simply because they're Muslim? No. Anyway, this video is not about Islam. The point I'm trying to make is whatever religion you have, people will always use it for their evil gain. Same thing in Christianity. You have religious leaders who are going to misuse their power, who are going to misuse their influence or use religion to gain influence let's look at the colonizers let's look at the white people who came to colonize countries and used a white image of Jesus in order to manipulate people and convince them that the white man is God if you look at geography it doesn't make sense for Jesus to be white but anyway when I think of God I'm not thinking about race or what like God is just amazing God is far beyond our social constructs by the way but anyway they used religion for their evil gain look at the Jonestown massacre where basically this guy used religion to lead people to South America and then got them to all kill themselves because he was doing anyway just research the Jonestown massacre is that what God said no guys in every religion you will always find people who try to misuse the word whatever word it is they're following for their own evil gain and that is not a reflection of the entire Christianity the entire Islam the entire Judaism like it does not represent any entire group it represents that person and their own evil agenda the same way the evil actions of one person cannot represent an entire race one black person's crime is not the entire black race being criminals one white person's racist act is not the entire race being racist I do want to say that I do not advise anyone to take upon religion blindly if you are a Christian 
I encourage you right now to explore why you are a Christian. Why do you believe in God? And trust me, you will find your reason. I have my own reason and I made a video about that too, so go check it out because that's not what this video is about. But don't follow anything or anyone blindly. Like when your pastor is telling you to go masturbate in front of the whole congregation, can you not go read your Bible to see that the God who hates sexual immorality, sexual sin, fornication, adultery, do you really think that same God would instruct a prophet to make you guys all masturbate at the front or to allow your pastor or your reverend to fondle your vagina in front of everybody? Absolutely not. When your reverend was telling you to go drink petrol because it's going to heal you, you're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Could you not go look into your Bible and be like, guys, you know, I don't know. No way does God say we should use petrol. Oh yeah, please, eh? God is not an enemy of common sense. Please, don't follow people blindly because you think they're religious leaders or you think they hear from God. My friend, you hear from God. You have spiritual gifts too. The next thing that I find super annoying is when you're talking about your faith in God and somebody will come and be like, whoa, if God is real, why does he allow bad things to happen on the earth? Guys, God has given free will to everybody. The same way you are free to believe in whatever you want to believe in, you are free to do evil, you are free to do good. He's given us free will. That is one of the reasons why evil will happen on this earth. People make the decision to kill and to rape and to whatever because they have free will they're free to make their own decisions why are bad things happening in the earth because people do bad things that's why the Bible says that the devil is the ruler of this earth it's a wicked wicked evil world as Christians we are trying our best to be the salt of the earth to be a light in this world to do what we can to make this world a better place but we cannot control other people and I'm sure there's a much deeper answer to this question but that's not an answer that I'm going to provide in this video the next thing I'm going to be talking about is people believing that Christians should not be rich guys can I please tell you something guys my God is the God of Solomon do you know how rich Solomon was my God is the God to whom all silver and gold belong to my God is not a broke energy God my God makes kings and queens and riches money is not the root of all evil the love of money is the root of all evil you willing to put money ahead of someone's life is the root of all evil because you've chosen the love of money over somebody's life that is the root of all evil Christians can be rich Honest richness, by the way, not riches where they make you cuddle with snakes. There are successful Christian men out there who are not going to make you put your panties in a jar underneath the bed or make incantations at night. Guys, eh? The blessings that come from God bear no sorrow with them. Hmm? They don't come with snakes or coffins or premature death. Being Christian and being rich are not mutually exclusive. They can happen at the same time. You are not stupid for being Christian. Choosing to follow God is not a dumb choice. Choosing to be led by love because God is love and he who does not know love does not know God because God is love. Choosing to be led by love is not stupid. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. If there's anything that I've left out, please do comment down below. Any video suggestions, comment down below, and I'll definitely try and make them happen for you. Peace and love, guys.